Good afternoon. My name is Stephanie Henry and I'm a nurse at a nursing rehab facility in Columbia, Tennessee. We have patients that need short-term care. We have patients that need long-term care. And sometimes I think I have lost my mind, especially when my Alzheimer's patients start to go haywire after the sun goes down. I have to remind myself sometimes why I like my job. Have you ever asked yourself why you got into banking or why you became an engineer or why you have the job that you have? What made you choose it? Did that summer job just last longer than one summer? I don't really know. When I was younger, I kind of dabbled with the idea of being in the medical field. I volunteered at a local hospital, really enjoyed it, but I just didn't know exactly what I wanted to do until the summer that my great-grandmother died. I remember watching those nurses with her and wondering how they could be so hateful, how they could be so rough. I made my mind up the day that she died that I was going to become a nurse. I was going to make a difference. My patients would never feel unloved. They would never feel like nobody cared. They would always be dry. And I would not stand by while anybody treated my patients that way. I was determined that I was going to make a difference. I took a few dirt roads along the way. It took me a lot longer to get here, but eventually I managed to do it. We went through one long year of LPN school last year. My children and my husband were very, very supportive and very grateful. I have five children, ranging from the ages of 19 to 3, and you should have seen the looks on their faces when I told them I was going back to school after this year of torture is what they thought. I know that they would rather me be at home, be able to cook more meals and spend more time with them, but I also know that they are well aware that the sacrifice that our family is making is helping others. Because I help people that can't help themselves. I would have never been able to become a nurse had it not been for my family and for the grace of God. Because he's the one that put me on this path. He's the one that's held me up. He's the one that's given me the courage to stay up till 2 o'clock in the morning to study and not get any sleep. Our children learn from us. Whether they realize it or not, they learn by watching us. If they don't get anything else out of what we're going through right now, I hope that they get this, this one simple thing. Never give up on your dreams. It's never too late to try, especially if you have God at the start of your path.